Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video where we discussed if you should come to Canada in this year of 2021 or not. 2020 was very tough, but 2021 is a little similar, but still a lot different. Of course, vaccines coming in, a lot new COVID-19 variants coming in as well. Things are not staying the same. So should you come to Canada this year or not? Of course, I still say that yes, you definitely should come to Canada this year, but you should postpone that plan for a few more months. Why? Because the government of Canada does not want anyone to enter Canada these days. Just last week, new measures for travel restrictions have been announced and those are really strict measures. We will discuss all about those measures in this video right from the starting before boarding the flight what should you do and of course after landing here in canada what should be your travel plans we will discuss all about those travel restrictions in this video so if you're interested stay tuned okay guys so government of canada is actually suggesting people not to travel during these times. They are specifically saying it everywhere, in every press conferences and in every website that this is not the time to travel. The government of Canada has announced new travel restrictions. What are those travel restrictions? So let me start from the beginning first. Before you board your flight, you have to do a couple of things. Number one, you have to get a negative COVID-19 test report 72 hours before boarding the flight. Guys, this is really important. I've already talked about it, so I won't talk about it in detail about this. But yes, it's important to have this negative test report. This should be a PCR report, not a rapid test report. It is really important and you should definitely have those negative COVID-19 PCR reports with you because if you don't have those, then the airlines won't let you board the flights. Number two, you should have uploaded your quarantine plan in the Arrive Can app. That is also very important. Before boarding the flight, you should have uploaded your quarantine plan, where you're going to stay, uh, what are your plans of uh, quarantine, all of that needs to go into the Arrive Can app. I've already made a video about it. I'll provide a link in the description box below. If you want to know it in detail, you can check that out. Okay, now talking about the latest rule that has just been introduced last week. It has been announced that you have to actually do a mandatory hotel quarantine at your own expenses after landing in Canada. So last week, Justin Trudeau actually announced that there would be a couple of measures that would be taken to uh, curb travel restrictions. Number one, that the international flights would only be landing to four airports now. Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver and Calgary. Only these four airports will have international flights landing. If you have to go, let's say, to Regina or any other city, then in that case, you would need to land in any of those four cities and then take the connecting flights. Now, after landing at these airports, you have to get a mandatory COVID-19 test done there at the airport itself at your own expense. This won't be free. And the test reports would be available in next two or three days. By that time, you cannot go to your home, to your friend's place, to any other hotel. You have to go to certain hotels that have been specified by the government, that have been identified by the government. Okay, now in these hotels, you'd be given the food and all. But the primary thing to note here, the biggest blow is that they would charge a minimum of 2000 Canadian dollars per passenger for all of these facilities. They've said because travel is a choice and you're making this choice, obviously that government does not want you to make. So you should pay for that choice. If you want to travel into Canada and if you land in any of those airports, then you have to get your COVID-19 test 72 hours before boarding the flight and also after landing at the airport as well. And then you need to pay $2,000 per person. This is a big sum of amount, guys. If there are three people or four people in a family, then you need to pay more than $6,000 or $8,000. That's a really, really big amount. And after you've got the COVID-19 negative test report, 
then you need to go to the place where you're going to quarantine for the rest of those 14 day quarantine period so maybe 11 days or so if you want to travel to a different city let's say ottawa or edmonton then you need to take connecting flights but that is possible only after the three days of quarantine in a hotel designated by the government of canada then the last part is the quarantine what you have announced in the arrive can app so if you have a home here if you're going to a friend's place or uh, an airbnb wherever you're going you need to quarantine there for the rest of the time if you break quarantine rules the fine is really really high it's seven fifty thousand dollars or maybe sometime in jail as well they're very strict about it they inquire it through the phone calls and uh, if you break the quarantine rules then i really don't want any of you to actually do that so i would definitely would not suggest you even choosing that option because of course it is necessary for your and our safety as well guys i personally also had travel plans i wanted to travel to india during march and i wanted to bring my parents along with me but after all of these rule changes of course it's also not safer i have cancelled my travel plans so it is definitely not recommended that if any of you are planning to travel maybe if you're living in canada if you want to travel outside of canada then travel back to canada or if you're there in let's say in india and you want to travel to canada during next couple of months it is definitely not recommended and it will also cost you a lot of money i hope the message is very clear if you like the video please click the thumbs up button if you have any questions any queries please put it down in the comment section below and yes if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video thanks again